Don't want to get more storage stuff out of storage here. Or did I get everything? Uh, I got everything but the pipes. That's fine. All right, where is Chair's house? Let's go visit Chair's house. What's that sound? It's weird. It's weird sounds deep in the water. Nothing to be afraid of. Just normal. All right, so we will probably, after we go do this, go check out Life Pod 13. And then we're going to have to decide how much we want to keep using the Seamoth. Because I think we're going to have to move to Cyclops soon. Unless I just use the Prawn. But the Prawn's vertical movement can be an issue. Usually when I make the Prawn, I want to have it docked in the Cyclops. Because I don't like Prawn for certain things. Like if I wanted to get my Prawn docked at the moon pool at my base that I just made. It'd be kind of an issue because there's... It's... Vertical thrust doesn't last usually that long. Those Seamoth colors, wow, any pimp would be proud. That's right. <laughs> we purposefully chose the... Most garish, loud, obnoxious colors so that I could see it deep in the water. So it's pinks and yellows and... Bright greens and stuff. Yes. I, I know. <laughs> I need a gold. I think I could get a gold from here, too. Let me check. All right, there's the gold I need. But we still want to head back because uh, we need the modification station for uh, the reinforced diving suit. And I also want to make the ultra high end tank, which I think takes rubies, actually. I think I would have need more rubies anyway. Damn it. I should probably just have that modification station in both places. So I don't have to go back and forth. Wait, you don't use the signal. What? What signal? Are you talking about the Seamoth? Well, yeah. I, I go towards the signal of the Seamoth. But there are times when you're right next to it. And it's still impossibly hard to see. Because the signal does not show up when you're right next to it. Here, I'll show you. Ow. So, if I fly, if I fly, if I go away, there's a signal. But if I go close to it, signal goes away. And if you're like deep, dark water and you can't see anything, you're like, where's my Seamoth? I'm almost out of air. I don't know where it is. The bright colors help you see it. At least that's, that's my opinion on the matter. Orange, yellows, purples. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> uh, aesthetically pleasing is not what we're going for today. Let me eat the nutrient block. My disinfected water. Okay. Okay, so let me see what I want to make here. Ultra high capacity. Oh, just four lithium. I got that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got a bunch of lithium here. One, two... No, that's lead. You know what? I think I'm going to take that lead with me, though. And I'm going to take this gold. Since I ran out. Two lithium. I think that's exactly what I need. Oh, or did I need four? I need one more. One more lithium. Damn. Damn. Double damn. I am one lithium short. Frickin' hell. Okay. Uh, well, let's see what we need for... So, I need one lithium for that. I can make Seamoth upgrades. I'm not going to... Uh, what are... Oh, the depth module Mark II. Okay. I need to make that. And a Mark III. Okay. All right. So, I need a bunch of rubies and plasteel. For that, I can make that. But what I want to make is the... Oh, maybe it's not in the upgrade station. Uh, 
Ah, there it is. Synthetic fibers. Benzene and fiber mesh. Benzene, blood oil times three. Okay, I'm actually making that at my base. So I can make this at my base, right? I got a fiber mesh. Blood oil is actually currently growing right now. I'm going to make that so I don't forget. That's what I needed for the power cell charger. I want to take my extra batteries. One, two, three. Okay. Um, so I want to make these depth modules. So I need rubies. Can I make the first one? Magnetite, plastilingot, enamel glass. Did I take all my teeth with me? I did, but if I, I could definitely make that happen. Um, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so plasteel, I just need that. Wait, no, it's enamel glass I need the tooth for, right? What's the plasteel? Oh, it's lithium. Okay, apparently I'm going to need a bunch of lithium, so I need to go get a bunch of lithium, which is in the jelly shroom caves, right? No, that's magnetite. Lithium's over by the big island. The uh, gun island. So I need some, I would need some diamonds. All right, I gotta think of all the stuff I need. I need a bunch of stuff right now. I do need two magnetite for this upgrade, I think. Enamel glass. So if I just get a single tooth right now, I can make that. A single, um, what you would call it, teeth. All systems online. So I can go that just in this area somewhere. Look for a, one of those little shark fish thingies attacking a metal thingy. Explore this one? Surely I did. This looks vaguely unfamiliar, actually. I don't know if I've explored this one. Can I explore this one? Ah, okay. Yes, it's been cut open. I have. Okay. Here we go. Play with that thing. Yeah, there we go. Tooth. No tooth. Isn't there a way you can, like, hold this? Here. Don't you want one of these? Can I offer this to you? There. Play with that. Come on. Come play with these things. I need your tooth. Maybe it's the repulsion cannon you need that for. Okay. There we go. All right. Look underneath him for a tooth to drop. Come on, play with the metal things that drop your tooth. Guess I can take this chance to scan you right now. Stalker, that's what you guys are called. There we go. Come on. Drop a tooth. I got a bunch of these at my other base. I just, again, I just came from there. Where's my sea moth? There it is. Okay, let's move you back this way. Let me actually repair this guy while I'm hoping to wait for these guys to do their thing. Come on, drop a tooth. Here, let me drop it from up here and see if he'll grab it as it floats out. Eat it. Eat that thing. You know you want to. It looks so delicious. Hot <laughs> damn it.
Play with that. Don't attack my Ranmobile. Play with that thing. There he goes. Yeah. Oh, do I see a tooth? Uh, I don't think I see one. Come on. Stop attacking this. It's like a watch pot never boils. They're not going to play with it while I watch them. <laughs> Giggity? Okay. Um, well, let's go find another area. Maybe I can find more. All right. Stalkers. Where are some stalkers? Some other stalkers who will be more accommodating. This might be one of the most annoying things to have to get. Stalker teeth. Okay, this is not the area. Left the stalker area. Here we go. Here's a couple stalkers. Should have grabbed some of that salvage. Uh... I think they drop loot twofers when they try to eat a sea moth. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. Damn it. There, I just had like tons of salvage and now there's none over here where I need it. Come on. Where's piece of salvage? There's one. No, really. I, I can't. I can't believe anything you say, McDonald. <laughs> I can't believe. Aboard, Placing drones in your stalker, letting a stalker attack a sea moth or a prawn suit, crashing a stalker with a sea moth or punching them with a prawn suit. Really? How are we doing, Zombie? Pretty good. I'm trying to uh, get an upgraded diving suit and a couple other things. Well, let me ram into it then. Ram into one, see if that works. I like that idea. There. I make you drop a tooth. Where'd you go? Apparently that scared you off. <laughs> Where is he? Where that where'd he go? I smeared him all across my... He's like stuck to the outside of my sea moth now or something. A little chime sound whenever teeth pop out, but there's also a higher chance for them to drop the more expensive and fragile the thing they're biting is. The more expensive and fragile. More expensive and fragile. So it's more likely it, when they attack your sea moth then is what it sounds like you're saying. Really? That seems weird. But okay, uh, let me find one and get it to attack my sea moth, I guess. Okay, do I need, should I be in it as he attacks it? Does it matter? Okay, I'm just going to leave this here. Just going to leave this here. I hear him biting. Oh, there's one. Okay, great. That is all I needed. Just needed one. Well, for now. I'll probably need more soon, but I got more at my other base. Better take out your modules just in case. <laughs> well, I actually don't have the reinforced hole module. That's another module I want to make. It takes diamonds. Um, which I might have the... You know, I probably have the diamonds to make that now. I'll lose some storage. I could replace one of my uh, one of those modules for a reinforced hull. I think I want to do that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, uh, so I need to take out my depth module. Go here, 
and make the enamel glass. Because it's just uh, is it just one glass. Did I take all my quartz? Okay. So I, I, surely I didn't take all my quartz. Sure, quartz. Surely. Here we go. Enamel glass. It's actually the first time I made an enamel glass. Beautiful. I really hate it when games have you make twenty intermediate products when crafting. Well, I mean, you got to have some sort of progression. I'm gonna make the other one. I need a plasteel ingot, three rubies, and I'm missing one ruby. Um, all right, so I need a bunch of lithium if I want these uh, plasteel ingots. What's the other uh, module I wanted to make? I want to make the whole. Whole reinforcement. Nice, I can make that. So I need to go get, get a bunch of oh, lithium is what I need to get. Lithium and some extra diamonds. Because I'm going to use these diamonds up now. And I need diamonds for the reinforced diving suit. There we go. And I'll keep the storage thing. Uh, let me make sure these are empty. Oh, I have extra rubies on me. Nice. I forgot that I had those rubies. So I just need the plasteel. So I need lithium, right? Plasteel is lithium plus the thing. Yeah, two lithium. So if I get two lithium, I have what I need to make the depth module mark three. Awesome. And I don't know which one is which, and I know I have a bunch of these st stupid pipes hanging out in here, I think, don't I? Oh, no, did I empty everything out? Stupid pipes. All right, let me go put those away real quick. Get in there, stupid pipes. Anything else in here I need? Cyclops efficiency module. Okay, I have to just remember that's in there. Uh, drink that water. There we go. Okay. So now those are all emptied out. Uh, I still need to make space so I can take modules out. Actually, I had one empty spot slot. I could have done that. It's fine. Could have done that. It's fine. All right. Get these pipes out of here that I'll never use. So glad I made all those. What a not waste of. What a totally not waste of titanium. All right. So we got the Seamoth Depth Module 2. 500 meters, nice. And the hole reinforcement. Beautiful. Okay, so now I need to go be get a bunch of um, lithium. So let me for now store lead, gold. I want to hold on to that. Rubies. And the storage module. Okay. Open. Oh, we have this titanium thing, and we can go get just. I just want to fill up my inventory with like lithium and diamonds. Lithium and diamonds for a bunch of these uh, next upgrade things we need to make. Are you not a repair thing? Thank you. Okay, let's go do that. Let's go a bunch. Get a bunch of lithium and diamonds. I should heal myself. I should heal myself. You know, I think you can actually do this. I'm going to try this. Woo! <laughs> Who needs ladders? Not this guy. All right, let me actually recharge all my stuff since I got all these batteries here. go one two three four cool so we're just gonna go over to the gun island I mean the whole reason I came here was to heal myself what am I doing having fun with jumping out of the water is what we're doing heal thyself 
Use that. Get another one. And I did get, I do have one bulbo tree here. Let's heat up here. Cool. All right. All right, looking good. Now, lithium and diamonds. Lithium and... <laughs> I know. Apparently, I left it right where as soon as I get back in, it's like, oh, you want to dock again? No, I, I don't want to dock again. Okay. All right, so... Gun Island, I believe, is this way. I'm going to get a reference point here. Yep. Over here. Head towards the cloud in the cloudless place. All right, so lithium and diamonds. So a bunch of the basalt places is what I want. Basalt thingy, majiggers. And with that, with one lithium, I can make the depth module mark three. And with more diamonds, I can make the um, what you would call it a reinforced diving suit, I believe. Okay, let's see here. Are the basalt ones all deeper? Looks like there's just random ones here. Pro terms thingy majiggers. That's right. That's how pro I am. I wonder if I've cleared out most of the ones here. Because this is where I keep going when I need diamonds and lithium. There's probably a better, better biome to go to. I missed the start of the stream. Have you seen a reaper yet this life? Not yet. I have purposefully been avoiding where I can see the reapers. Although, I keep getting close to where I know they are. But I have, I have been purposefully avoiding them. I'm pretty sure if I just go out that way just a little bit, I will see one. I'm actually go down here a bit. Because I might get some more down this way. Oh, those freaking guys, though. Well, these are not basalt. Copper's useful. Oh, the floating islands. You know what? That might be the place where I get the lithium and diamonds. That's where I built in my in my first playthrough. That's where I built my really awesome flushed in paradise base. Good memories of those times. And there is a wreck out there I could explore uh, too, which might give me some useful things. I might want to do that. I don't know if I have the depth for it. 500 meters might be enough. Because these go down pretty deep. And I know there's not Reapers down here, because I lived here. But there are plenty of these Tiger Shark guys. But I have my... Uh, I do have my thing to knock them away. Stasis Rifle already have... Get the hell out. All right. Yeah, I can definitely explore that if I want. No stasis allowed. It's going to be epic <laughs> when he does. Uh, I'll be using stasis. I'll be using stasis. No no freaking doubts. If I'm going to if I'm really going to scan the thing. Oh, am I not getting any red work yet? Well, I'll scan it. You get the hell out. Alright, lithium and diamonds. That's what we're looking for. I don't really need quartz. I'll grab a little bit, though. It's fine. Diamond, okay. 
I should explore that while I'm here, too. Let's go ahead and get it done. Does that repulsion gun work on a Reaper? No. <laughs> I think it might push you back a little bit, but I don't think it does anything to the Reaper. I think, I'm pretty sure the only thing that does anything to the Reaper is the stasis rifle. At least that's how it was when I last played the game. So if it's similar rules, I'm going to say that's the case still, probably. Lithium. I think that's an egg I already have. Uh, where's my sea moth? Over here. Uh, you can kill a reaper, just takes a lot of time. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I once killed a reaper using just the... Just the stasis rifle and a knife, but, <laughs> you know, it takes forever. Yeah. Yeah. I think it works in everything, but the creatures each have their own inertia, i.e. peepers will enter orbit, but the sea dragon might be tickled. Yeah. Damn it. That was a lot of damage, actually. What's my depth? 186 meters. Where? I'm, I got kind of disoriented. Okay. Islands over Thank here. Pronsu needs to drill in the hook. Yeah, I've done it that way, too. B loves green. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friends. Okay. My light was off. I was like, why can't I see? Oh, my God. I hate these sh Oh, how, how many of them are there? Okay, get away. Don't kill my sea moth. That was like five of them all stacked on top of each other. Jesus. Did they make these things more aggressive? Because I'm pretty sure they always were aggressive, but I don't remember them stacking up like that. Holy crap. You bumped them having an intimate moment, perv. <laughs> is, that, is that what they were having, an intimate moment? Because what it looked like they were doing is trying to eat me. Or maybe I interrupted them trying to eat each other. I don't know. Okay, okay. Jesus! They really are just keep chasing me. Okay. You guys get the hell out. Now they're not paying attention to me. I don't understand. It's like they only don't like the sea moth or something. Cyclops engine. Do I have that yet? Okay, I have the engine. I think I don't maybe have the bridge completed or something. They want to push the sea moth down the crush depth. I'm afraid of leaving my sea moth alone now, actually, because of that. They got a lot further. They got to push it, though. Ah, push it. Push it real good. Okay, they didn't do damage good. All right, let's see if I can get to this thing in a place where they won't be attacking me while I can explore it. God damn you. So every time I get close to this thing... I need this the sea moth repulsion thing is what I need. Right, I'm gonna keep this guy fully repaired so I don't have the issue of actually having them destroy it again. I right, have engine fragments. You will never let me live that down. <laughs> I seriously think that's what they did. Either they push it down or they just bit it to death. I mean that's what they've been doing to it lately, so. I have I got I don't need titanium right now. Came here for lithium and diamonds. I'll take silver and gold though. Anything else to scan here? 
I know there's some Cyclops fragments I could use. Okay, where can I get in? I can get in right here. So let me bring my Seamoth here. Leaving the Seamoth light on won't attract them. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I'm more worried about myself drowning than I am actually about them attacking it. Maybe I should have a different priority in what I'm afraid of, but me drowning is the normal thing I'm afraid of. Grappling suit arm. Nice. My favorite arm of the prawn suit. Okay. Let's uh, cut our way through here. There it is. How are we doing on oxygen? We're fine right now. I'm going to go check on my sea mom. Sea moth mom. After this. I should source some of my stuff in my inventory too. Oh, it's out of power. Well, damn it. Um, Jesus. Do I not have another battery? Well, what do I... No, oh God, I can't cut my way through. Okay, Habitat Builder. We can get rid of this battery for now. Oh, wait, I do have other batteries. What? Okay. I'm dumb. Is this the repair tool I have on my bar? No, that's the laser cutter. Why... Because I'm right, I'm left clicking instead of right clicking. Damn it. Okay. Okay, let's not drown. Oh my god. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Let's get this habitat builder off. Get repair tool on. Make sure you're repaired. I see a shark. You get the hell out. It's funny, they don't even attack me now. It's only the Seamoth they want to attack. Because they know I got a gun. They know I'm packing heat. I say that and they attack me from behind just right after, probably. There we go. Okay. Get all that stuff there. Okay. Leave the, uh, in before a Leviathan Reaper spawns in the area. Um, I don't think they can spawn here, but, you know, I wouldn't put it past this game that likes to kill you with big scary monsters. Wouldn't put it past it. Okay. So I need another, um, of the arms, the, uh, grappling arms. There we go. Nice. Grappling arm done. Very nice. Okay, what else we got here? Okay, that's another grappling arm, so just titanium. And this is out. Okay, this is another entrance. Okay, so I next need to go through the place I did my laser cutter. Uh, power cell charger. Okay, well, I just got this, but... So this is another place I could have gotten it. Okay, I can't get through that door. Nothing there. Nothing around here. So next I need to go through the door I cut through. There we go. Oh man, I have all the blueprints for every prawn suit arm. Nice. So now you just need to build the prawn, right? Yeah. Yeah, you want? You want some of this? Huh? You want some? Wow, he went flying. <laughs> what about you? I gave your friend some. You can have some too. That's right. You better turn around. Turn around walk the other way. 
I got a rollover for you. Hey, there's a glowy thing I didn't get. Creature decoy. Ah, oh, that's really good for uh, going up against Reapers, I believe. Where the hell do I find that mod station? Um, man, I've been finding it all over. Um, look in the... Um, okay, where did I cut open? Over here. Look in the place with the red grass, the red grass area. That's where I would suggest. I can't remember exactly, though. Apparently, that's something I already had. <laughs> Propulsion arm. Nice. Do I have that one? Don't have that one. Cool. Prawn suit I already have. So this would be if I hadn't explored the place to get the prawn suit. Explored the Aurora. Propulsion arm. Beautiful. Getting all the arms. You read you can only find one of those data things? Oh, maybe that is where I found it. Okay, so I have another place I need to cut open. Yes, alright. Let's start cutting it open. Get down to like 50.02. Well, I might be able to... I could probably cut all the way through this and then go back and get oxygen. The big piece was scannable, but it's just the prawn suit. So just give me um, titanium. I'll... It's just the prawn suit. I have the prawn suit. So free titanium, I guess. I don't really need titanium as a thing. So I was purposefully ignoring it, but I'll scan it. Yeah, every bit hits. helps, I guess. I guess I'll leave the light on so I can find my way here. Okay, so it's through here. I open that, I open that. Through here. Over here. Grappling arm I already have. Alright, what is this one? Swim charge fin. So that's the one that charges what you're have equipped while with your while you're swimming around, I think. Grappling suit arm. Pretty sure I've gotten everything I need from here. Well, okay, another door. Okay, that's another entrance. All right, so I think I've gotten everything from here. I'll do one more pass through after I get oxygen. And I'll actually go from this other direction, I think. Um, no, let's go for this, from the same direction so I recognize where I've gone. Swim charge fin's too slow, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I feel like every time I've tried them, I'm like, the charge isn't worth the speed loss. I mean, I don't know if I would... Well, here's the question. Do, do the... Do the ultra glide fins stack with your sea glide movement? Because if they do, I would never want to swap them. If they don't, if they don't stack, then maybe it would be worth it. I don't know. Because pretty much every time I swim around someplace, I'm using my sea glide. All right, here we go. I have been all through here. No other doors. And that's a way out. Okay. I feel like they stack, though, because I feel like, like I go really fast when I use both of them. Like, if there's another way down here is the question. Or anything I didn't scan down here. Looks like I got everything. Okay. And we go through here. Scanned all the things in here. Like other walls or anything? Okay. Okay, and I got stuff in here. And I thought there was an exit here, but okay. Let's just go back the way we know. 
and we'll call this good. It had the it had a couple things I already had as well, so. Okay. I still could use more diamonds and lithium. Is that another engine fragment? Yeah, Cyclops engine. So I feel like if I want to finish the Cyclops, I need to go back to the... I think it's the mushroom biome. Oh, I like this stuff. Have I scanned this? I don't think I've gotten a thing of this. Hopefully it's a small seed. Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, we got extra rubies down here. Okay. Oh, God. Stupid spider crab thingies. Oh, Jesus. There's a ton of them. God, you guys are annoying. That's why you have no friends and nobody likes you. Yeah, when I built my base here, it was at um, it was at the largest of these islands, I believe. Largest of these floating islands. Man, I loved my base that I had here. It was great. For a long time, I was trying to find if I could see if my find my save file that I used to make all that, but I don't I don't think different versions of the beta of uh, Subnautica were like compatible with later versions or whatever. So I couldn't load in. All right, let me fill up my inventory with a few more lithium and diamonds if I can find it. This island right here. I think it was this giant island here that I built my base on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good times. Get the hell out. You get the... Ouch! Holy crap, that guy was right in my face. Holy shit. Okay. I was like, there's one with all the green stuff on him. Where'd it go? He's, he's right behind you. He's about to eat you. Oh, ouch. Too hot to one of those vents. Ah, you still here? Oh, I could scan him too. That's right. I am maxed out. Let me actually use this. Use this. Do I have a water? No water. So I can get two more things. Two more basalt thingies. Where is my thingy? There it is. So I want two more basalt. Here, limestone. I really want diamonds or lithium for my last thing here. Hey, get away from that. That is not for you to touch. Alright, let's find just a couple more basalt. There's one. Lithium. Okay, that's great. And one more. Diamond or lithium, please? Diamond. I'll take it. Okay, how much lithium did I end up with? Not that many. Did I get any in here? Two more. I currently have four lithium. Uh... I think I should drop some titanium, some more lithium, because we're gonna need to be making plasteel pretty, pretty often here for the upgrades we want to do. So, let me drop at least a couple. If I can get just one or two more lithium, I'll feel better. Feel better about my life. Oh, darn, that feel when you get a diamond instead of 
lithium. They're looking for shale, the darker colored ones. What am I? What am I taking damage from? Am I too deep or what? I don't know what I'm taking damage from. Uh, when the, uh, lethal weapons are not available in the factory brigade or my left butt. Launch someone into a wall with a propulsion cannon. <laughs> yeah. How is that not lethal? Oh, here we go. Here's just a couple right here. All right, come on, lithium. Get the freaking get away from her. Ow. I say ow for my mom here. Lithium. All right. Lithium over gold. Gold over titanium. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm tired of these freaking shark people. I'm tired of y'all. Tired. All right. So we'll check out 13. Actually, can I hit? Can I go check out 13 now? Am I close enough? It's kind of on the way. Only 800 meters that way. Let's see. We'll do a drive-by here. I am going to need some water soon. I might have left one water in one of my storage. Maybe. All right. We're clear of sharks here. Let me let me check real quick if I... I got food, but no water. Nope, oh, no water. Okay, all right. Well, we're only 600 meters away. You can hold your thirst, sir. Hold it for a couple minutes. Although this might be one of the big ones I need to ex spend some time exploring. I could see if there is a... Um... Oh, my God. Oh, it's in the mushroom biome. Okay. See if there's one of those uh, chests that have water in them around it. Let's just let's just let's just check real quick. Um, is there any bla uh, bladder fish in here? I could take care of it that way. You're going to laugh my ass off if you die from lack of water when surrounded by it. Great. Okay. I think, you know what? I don't want to explore this one yet because I think there's a big wreck here I need to spend some time with. And I really don't want to die of... <laughs> die of thirst while in water. All right. 1,000 meters away. What about my other house? Am I closer to my other house? Rendezvous point. No. Uh... Slightly closer to chair size. All right, let's go get water. Then we'll come do 13. Frickin' hell. Try eating salt water. Let me know when you finish barfing. <laughs> barfing. Barf is a strange word. It's also the name of John Candy's character from uh, Spaceballs. Is that short for something? Bartholomew. They used to have a suit that recycled water. Yeah, I think I remember that suit, and it was awesome. I don't know how long it takes you to die when you run out of water. I know how long it takes you to die when you run out of O2. It's pretty quick. But I feel like you should have some time when you're just really, really thirsty. They removed the piss suit. Yeah, we might find out. We're getting pretty close. Maybe they didn't. Maybe I, I might have just not found it yet. But you guys would know better than me. Do I even have anything water here? Um, let me just look for bladder fish real fast. I think I do. Let me check. 
God, I hope so. Okay, do I have water here? Oh my god, I have no water. Uh, okay, I have this. There. <laughs> okay, alright. Bobo tree to the rescue. Okay, all right. Really quickly, uh, see, salt and I didn't leave any of those other things I need. Hold on a sec. Let me let me have some supplies to get water, so I'm not screwing myself. Okay, that's not giving me what I need. Okay, I've been surviving off them bobo trees for a while. I have Bilbo to the rescue. Let me get a couple of these guys, too. Just to have some. Those I don't need as quickly in an emergency as I need. The large coral tubes. Where is one? Where be one? Oh, the lag. Where the hell are the coral tubes? There's one. And I know I have salt. I got infinite levels of salt. There we go. Okay. Uh, it is there. You have the blueprint. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's not where I want to go. Because I don't have salt in there. Uh, where's my house? Where's my house? There. What is this picture, McDonald? Subnautica piss suit. <laughs> still, all right, the still suit. All right. Which when when I hear still suit, I think of um, Dune. Frank Herbert's Dune. That's what I think of. Let's get this guy charging while we do this too. All right, we should. Now have the materials to make a few things. Let's go make sure we don't die of thirst again, though. Salt. Don't tell me I don't have salt. Okay, one, two. Uh, there we go. All right, bleach. Bleach for the salt. I mean, bleach for the salt. Bleach for, bleach for the water. And water. And I better keep a couple in here just in case that happens to me again. Which I would not be surprised if that happened to me again. Ah, uh, inventory skull. Whoops. Drink one. Put two in there. Drink another one. Okay, and then I gotta plant this guy back. Because you saved my life, sir. You have saved my life. And let's put these guys in here. So I have extras of those. Okay. Let's build some things. You think you can tell me where to find the blueprint? You don't have to. Infest Angel, I'll find it eventually. Wirelessly charge your, your held tool. You know, if this charged like all the stuff you were on your quick bar, I feel like this might be worth it. Otherwise, I feel like it's not worth it. All right. So I just need the Plasteel ingot now. So I need titanium. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the lithium. Okay. Seems that data box blueprints are always at the same place. Yeah, sounds right. Alright, plasteel ingot, so that'll do it. Beautiful. And this will be the Seamoth uh, depth. Upgrade Mark 3. Depth Module Mark 3, which is, I think, the max. Not there. Pretty sure that's the max depth for the Seamoth. Which is, like, 900 meters, I think. I think that's as deep as that goes. 
Unless they've added another one that I don't know about. Apparently the Finns charge the sea glide faster than the consumes energy. Energy companies hate them. <laughs> is this a is this a uh, yeah nine hundred meters? Is that a uh, a Facebook ad? It sounds like a Facebook ad. Okay, so I want to make the um. So I made the uh, hull reinforcement already. Engine efficiency module. I feel like I don't really need that for the Seamoth. Prawn one might be worth, but... And then we have all these arms for the prawn. I probably want to start working on making the prawn soon. Uh, but I still kind of want to hold off on that. But I do want to make the reinforced diving suit. Synthetic fibers... Benzene, blood oil. Okay, so that's going to be back at the base. I have to make that because I had the blood oil growing over the, at my main base. Okay. Okay. All right, so I think we just go back to our other base, and we are pretty much set up. Um, the only reason we'll ever have to come back to this base now will be to make the prawn and the cyclops and the upgrades for them. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is, before I, uh, I'm going to go explore the number 13 place, which is somewhere around here. Um, and then we'll head back to our other base after coming by here and picking up our materials. Real quick, though, I'm going to stand up to use the restroom. Thank you all so much for watching. If any of you are new to the stream, please hit the follow. I really appreciate you guys keeping me company. Always enjoy the Subnautica time. I'll be right back, my friends. See you in a bit.
All right. You got the chair. You don't need Rand. <laughs> Did it just move? <laughs> you thought he died of starvation when he left chair in charge. <laughs> Blade is making bubbles. Well, there's supposed to be heat waves coming off, I think. Fissioning pockets of plasma. Characters are pulsing enough to safely hold it close. Yes. We're like a Jedi. Lightsabers. Have you seen have you seen that episode of um what is it called? Um Because Science. The episode where uh talks about what lightsabers would actually do to you if you held them as close as the uh, Jedi hold them to themselves. Alright, uh magnetite, I'm gonna keep this stuff over here. I think keeping a couple of rubies over here is fine, but I don't need that many. It's like, maybe keep a, keep four over here. Take the lead. Take the gold, actually, because I think I was out of gold over there. Go. There. Keep a few things over here. I might want to take these eggs soon, but I don't really have the room for them now. I'll take the uraninite, even though I won't be able to do much with just one. Okay. And we're going to hit, go check out uh, wreck number 13, and then we go back with all these juicy, precious materials. And we'll be able to make the um, up uh, reinforced diving suit. Uh, his face will be more stiff than his spiky hairdo by the time Rand gets back. What? Okay, so we're heading towards 13. Did I already get close, close enough that 13's no longer showing up? Come on, I didn't go in there. Purposefully. So I didn't lose the 13 thing. Oh man, I feel like I lost. Can I? Is there? Can you turn back on the? Uh, distress signals. Because way back when they were actually items that were really annoying. Beacon manager. Here we go. Signal thirteen. Let's make it orange. Okay, where, where is it? Does it look like it was still saying it was on? Uh, you didn't know what would happen if you held the lightsaber close to you? Well, basically, it will immediately vaporize any liquid that club comes in contact with. So if you hit somebody with a lightsaber, their arm wouldn't fall off. Their body would explode, basically. Uh, Chair told us that it's watching you. Great. Great, it's good to know. Okay, let me figure out where I'm going here. Is that the island? Okay, that's the gun island. So it's down here somewhere. Is the is the beacon on? So that one's on. There it is. Ha! Huh, I swear that wasn't just on. If you like the sun shining on your face, it would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. <laughs> Chair stares at Rand when he sleeps. <laughs> Jeez, that thing can really jump out of the water. Oh, yeah. I One time, there was a small island one time that was like, let's test how far we could jump, and we were able to jump the island. Less of an island, more of an outcropping of rock. But still, it's pretty cool. Still pretty cool. Ow! Where the f God damn it, I hate those things. Those damn tiger sharks or whatever the hell they're called. can never remember their name. Sometimes worse than reapers, because at least reapers you can see. Those guys are small enough that it's like you can't can't find them, but big enough that they do some pretty bad damage. Your skin would boil, yeah. Yeah, from the lightsaber thing. 
check out uh, I mean it's, it's one of my uh, YouTube channels that I watch fairly regularly is because science it's great there's a lot of nerdy things oh oh I I think that's Cyclops uh, whole fragment I think I have completed but Please don't tell me I took my scanner tool out. Where's my scanner tool? Why would I have why would I have taken it out of my inventory? Why would I have done that? Oh my god. It's not in here, is it? I really just got rid of my scanner tool, didn't I? Well, I have to have my scanner tool. Where the hell did I put it? Dar chair took it out. He's so crafty. Frickin' hell. Damn it, chair. All right, well, I gotta run back home. Cause I have to be able to scan stuff. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I wish your quick bar was an inventory slot and not just a quick bar. I wish you were taking inventory out of your out of your actual inventory, putting in your quick bar slot, give you a couple inventory spots, and also I wouldn't accidentally take them out of my inventory. Jesus. Oh my god. So freaking annoying. At least I found out before I got to the wreck, and I would have been like trying to scan something and like, what? Why can't I do this? Still, goddamn, so annoying. Okay, all right. Chair, always playing pranks on me. My God. Hashtag blame chair. <laughs> Ran mobile. <laughs> All right, where did I put it? I, I have a feeling I put it right in here. Why did I do that? I have no idea why I did that. I'll take extra for first aid. I think I have a first aid kit creating device at my other base, which I should. That's another thing to build. I can't hear, wait to hear what uh, music Ben Prunty uh creates for uh subnautica below zero is it called subnautica below zero or is it just called below zero i assume it's called subnautica colon below zero but i've only visited visited the steam page like once or twice you want a whale as a storage device <laughs> what you just like Put it on his back or stuff it in his mouth? I mean, I'm not sure what the logistics of this plan are going to be. Subnautica below zero. Okay, cool. Well, because it's weird when I first saw it, and it said, it's like, this is a new standalone game. I was like, oh, I figured it was an expansion, but it's actually its own game, I think. It's completely separate from this, so... Pretty cool. Okay, I think I have. Oh, that was the last thing I needed for the Cyclops. Okay, I can make a Cyclops. I can make a Prawn. Okay. Let me, let me make sure I'm saying that right so I don't have to scan anything else while I'm here. Blueprints. Nuclear reactor. Cyclops. Yep. Got it. Beautiful. All right, we can build Cyclops and Prawn sometime. Will I be streaming it anytime soon? After I finish this playthrough, that's my plan. Um, I might not be playing this every day of the week. I might play something else. Like, I might actually play a little Final Fantasy XIV at some point because that was what me and Shogi played on Friday, and he's played it more than me, and I kind of want to catch up so we can play it together and maybe do some leveling and stuff, but... And I might play some more. I might actually go back to some FTL sometime soon. But yes, my plan. My plan after I finish this is to play some 
uh, check out the uh, early access of that. Integrating new data. Okay, well, I probably didn't need my scanner thing. Can't repair you. Okay. Uh, so what did we just learn about? The Gossy survivors. No, not that. It was... Uh, my creators and cherishers of state of worlds. Give me this day. My daily. Okay, he's praying. Okay, so he's just praying. Praying as he's dying. Sad. I believe there is a wreck around here somewhere, though, that we can uh, explore a big one. I think it's like suspended on one of those big mushrooms. You're debating on whether to play the early access or wait for completion. Yeah, well, that's why I didn't finish this um, uh, originally, was because I played too much during the early access. But I will probably play it and just not play it as much as I played this when it was first out. Because this, I mean, when you first play this game, it's just so awesome. You just want to explore the entire world. Okay, I know, I know. Is it this one? I know there is a mushroom wreck somewhere, and I think that's what the 13 wreck is trying to lead you to. I thought it was up on one of the mushrooms. Did they get rid of that one? No, it's probably, I'm probably just not seeing it yet. Bonen Vesperon, Vesperon Mia Amo. Uh, Mio Amo sounds like you're saying my love. <laughs> Are you hitting on me, sir? Okay, I, I know there's a big wreck in here somewhere. And while I'm here, I should check it out. So I don't miss it. Maybe. <laughs> I love you. It's okay. I, I, you're, you're cool too. I'm not going to say I love you too because that would just be too creepy. Out there will be a Reaper Leviathan, I think. And I believe they can spawn in the mushroom area too, especially at the edges of it. So I might see my first reaper. Keep my eyes out open. My eyes out. What is this I hear about using hollowed out whale carcasses as storage? Uh, I don't know. You and Manu Sands can have a discussion about that because... Uh, <laughs> Doesn't sound super effective. Ah, okay. Are we behind? Are we in the area behind the Aurora? Because I know there's a Reaper out there. Ow. I think I've got all the prawn arms, but I should check what that one is. Drill arm. That's the one arm I don't have, actually. Stop it. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Are you certain? Multiple Leviathan class creatures. All right. All right. Let's get the drill arm and we probably run away. Reapers, Reapers are close by. Reapers are close. We got the drill arm though. Oh, yeah, scan time. <laughs> oh, man. I'm looking, man. I'm looking. These wide open spaces. Uh. 
They're out here somewhere. I heard them, and she scanned. See, she sensed them. Scanned them. Whatever. Take us out that way. Okay. All right, I'm going to try to explore this thing and hopefully not run out of food or water while I do this. Actually, you know what? I might be able to uh, get some water from a fish if I uh, attack a fish here. Is this the drill arm? Okay. If I just get some cooked fish here. Do I get some water from you? I get... H yeah, I get 10. Okay, not bad. If I just cook a couple of fish, I can... I can not be in such bad shape, water-wise. Wow, you're fast. Where'd you go? Freaking got juked by the peeper. There we go. Okay. Alright, we're checking out this place. I just want to make sure we're not, like, dying as we do this. One more. Whoops. No, I wanted to cook you. Can I, like, cook you? No, I have to actually hit you with the knife to cook you. Give me. Give me. There. Hey! Did he just take my peeper? No, there it is. Okay, good. <laughs> it's my peeper, sir. Did I just drop you? No, I want to eat you. You are delicious. Tasty and delicious. Uh, you've been passing time. Do, new POE League. Uh, watching the new Dota update. They just added a hero that looks like the love child of Gritty and Ganondorf, as imagined by the animers, animators of Disney's Hercules. It's truly horrifying in an amusing way. Okay. That does sound interesting. Even if I don't know who Gritty is. I know who Ganondorf is. I'm not as familiar with Gritty. Okay, this is drill suit arm. Cut. It's freaking sand shark are like right outside the wall from me. Uh, by the way, I'm not going to be scanning a Reaper, by the way. Um, you know that whole thing about this being hardcore mode? I'm not killing myself to scan a Reaper. Not doing it. Okay. Something to scan here. Prawn suit drill arm. Okay. Anything else? Ah, here we go. What is this? Cyclops shield generator. Hell yeah. All right. U.S. hockey team mascot that was in the news for being terrifying a while back. Oh, I don't know if I saw that news. If it wasn't on Facebook, I didn't see it. And if it was on Facebook, I still might not have seen it. No dead whale, like tie stuff to whales. Okay. All right, let me go get oxygen real fast. This is a straight shot through here. Alright, just take a look around. No Reapers just coming up to eat me while we're here. I have taken a little damage. Let me repair this thing. There we go. Okay. And back in we go. Oh, man, this is, again, at least it's a straight shot, but, okay, okay, that's another entrance there. Um, it looks like that's all we can get from here, actually. Is there anything down underneath here? Oh, okay, all right, let's explore that, but bring our Ranmobile closer for oxygen purposes. Play it safe. I only have one life. Oh, and there's a thing down there. Is 
Cyclops death mod <laughs> death death module. <laughs> all right, we're getting all the Cyclops upgrades before we actually build the Cyclops. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's a dead end. It's a dead end. Water. I like water. Uh, oh gosh, is there another way to go? Okay. Drill arm, I already got. More water. Okay, PDA. Door, does this door get me out? If not, I need to head back now. Uh, actually, oh, that's the out right there. Huh, I missed that door, okay. Eight people with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. That's right. It's delicious. Okay, I don't know how I missed this door, but let's make sure there's nothing else in here we're missing. Again, don't need titanium. Scan it just to get rid of it. Okay, I think I, think I got everything here. Drink some of this water, actually. All of this water, actually. Scan myself. Nothing more to say, huh? About my health. Okay, looks like... Looks like we're good. Looks like we got all this stuff from here. Uh, I am interested to see what this PDA says. Probably says something about a Reaper Leviathan, is my guess. Uh, no. <laughs> Two ideas. A gun that shoots other smaller guns. <laughs> what? Uh, they're trying to come up with a profitable business. Amazing. Okay. So we checked out 13. We're near a Reaper. So that's where we're headed. I feel like for those who haven't seen a Reaper... We should go find a Reaper, but try not to die while seeing said Reaper. I believe it's out here somewhere. Uh, it's Amaroni in the book. Dr. Lecter certainly calls enough not to match liver with Chianti. How deep are we? 360 meters? Okay. Oh, I hear it over this way, I think. Which is the direction we're pretty much going. Oh my god. I hear him. It's... Rapers are freaking scary. Freaking scary, man. I hear it. Oh my god, I hear it. It's coming from behind. Yeah, oh, I just saw his tail. I'm running. Oh my god, I saw his tail. That's that's a reaper. That's a freaking reaper. Get the hell out. <laughs> I'm not dying today. Oh my god, this game is so scary, Jesus. <laughs> scan it, you can do it. No, I'm not scanning it. Oh my god. Oh. I can't do it, man, I'm too scared. Maybe if I had a prawn. Maybe if I had a prawn. Uh, have I been to this one? Seamoth gets 50 damage during that if he catches you. Yeah. Which is half your health. He doesn't look scanned enough. He doesn't look so bad. 
What he does, he grabs you and bites you, and he, like, shakes you around, and you just see his face. The terrifying face right in front of you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Reaper says, I ate Rand's liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> uh, can I get into this thing? Any of these doors work? Oh! Teleport. I think that guy just tried to teleport me. To attack me. Can I get in this piece? Is this not a piece I can get into? Jesus, where is this thing that's trying to teleport me? Where are you? So many things that want to kill me. So this door didn't work. Can I, can I not get in here? Can I go any this way? Can I not get in this one? I think maybe... Ah, okay, there it is. Jesus, where, where's the guy who's doing this? There's a guy trying to teleport me every time I get close to this entrance. It's not that scary of a face. He's smiling. Maybe a friend is secretly a ram or something. What? Ah, uh, wah, well, fish that can teleport other things. Are you making fun of me being afraid? This game is scary, okay? This game is scary. Okay. Expected water. Non-functional and my inventory is full. Drink more water. No, my inventory's not full. Oh, I, I, that thing must be big. That's why I said that. Okay. All right. Got to cut a door. Cut our way through here. I haven't made my whole ultra high capacity um, tank yet, did I? If you taste like lamb, I could dig the Chianti pairing. Oh, okay. Ho! Oh! Oh, he's inside there. I got I got to get O2. Uh, I need O2. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That guy is literally in, is what I'm trying to break out here. Holy crap, that thing was right inside that door. <laughs> God. Chair said I wouldn't scan the Reaper. Chair was freaking right. Oh, okay. So I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to shoot him with my gun that has... Hey, you. Okay, I need power. Good, I have a battery. Cool. Get the, get the hell off of me! Stupid-ass sharks. Okay. Did you do damage to this thing? A little bit. All right, we're going in, and we're going in with guns blazing. Let's do this thing. Oh. Okay, did you leave? Did you get out of here? Why were you in here? <laughs> Why were you even in here? Blue cap. A coffee vending machine. Hey. <laughs> Is that really all I get from this? Repair tool. Can I do anything here? I think that might be the only thing that's in here, actually. Other than the warper trying to kill me. Bunch of other stuff. Okay. All right. Any other doors or anything? Scannable. Oh. Water. Might as well deep do that. Get some stuff. There we go. Okay, that shark has got his head stuck in the wall. That's weird. Okay. Let's go. Ugh. Okay. Is that warper now out here? Okay. It's behind you. Thanks, Cthulhu. 
Need to buy a shot collar and attach it to chat so we can notify you when something important comes up. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a terrible idea. Thanks for the suggestion, though. Twitch plays shot collar. Yeah, and uh, let's nominate the person to be in charge of it. The guy who frickin' stole my PayPal information and my and my Steam. What could possibly go wrong with this plan? Hell, is this Warper still coming after me? Screw you, Warper. I finally found that stupid vehicle mod station. Congrats, sir. Congratulations. That's blood oil down that way. Oh yeah, I wanted to make a marker in the blood oil entrance. I'm gonna put a marker here. I think I've been carrying a marker this whole time. Might as well put it in a place. It's useful. A beacon, I mean. Drop. Blood. Blood oil entrance. There we go. Okay, it's time to go back home. Home sweet home. In a wreck 260 meters from that island. Sad fact you'd already been there. Yeah. Well, that's why every time I go to a new place, I like, I'll explore it like two or three times just to make sure. Because it's so easy to miss stuff. Um, uh, pretty sure I've been here. Yeah, that thing's open, so I've been there. The data box is outside, yeah. Might be a good way to pull new viewers, though I'm not sure how Twitch feels about fetish performance art. Well, I'm sure I know. I'm sure they'd love it. But they would be the creepiest, craziest, trolliest, worst audience you could ever possibly imagine. That's interesting that you see the moon pool's shiny water um, entrance from so far away. As long as you keep clothes on, right? <laughs> sure. Okay. Apparently I parked backwards. Alright, did I get the ultra high capacity thing? I didn't. And I think that's at the upgrade station, isn't it? Let me check. So if it is, I'll be sad. Because I could have built that back at the other place. Okay. Put the water in here for now. Food, med kits. Okay. So, personal equipment. Yeah, because I, I can only make the high capacity. I can't make the ultra high capacity. But I can make the reinforced diving suit now, I believe. I need that blood oil stuff. So let me put some stuff away. I just need two diamonds for now. Lead and gold. Um, put these extra batteries in here. I do have a place to charge my batteries. Nice. Uh, throw this water in here. Space for thing in here. Okay. Uh, so we want to go out, get three blood oil. Has it grown? Yes, the blood oil has grown. My lovely garden. Tis a beautiful garden. Do I have three blood oil things here? Two. Yes, I do. Beautiful. It's coming together, boys. It's coming together. Oh, yeah. I didn't need to make that thing. Okay. Um, titanium, I think I needed. Synthetic fibers. Which is what I need the blood oil for. Beautiful. Or, no, because that's benzene. So I need the fiber mesh. Which I believe I have one in here. Yeah. Nice.
Okay, and bam! Reinforced diving suit. Need a jelly mushroom complete with eel in that outdoor garden. Complete with eel. Yes. All right, heavy synthetic fiber diving suit to providing physical protection and enhanced survival in extreme temperatures. So I won't take damage from like heat and high pressure now. And the gloves. All right, so we got rebreather, reinforced dive suit and gloves, ultra glide fins. I need to upgrade my high capacity O2 tank. All right, we are looking good, boys. Throw our radiation stuff in there. So I need to make the upgrade station here. Advanced wiring kit, Ruby, Titanium. I've been keeping the advanced wiring kit, Ruby, Titanium. There we go. Power cell, charger. Beautiful. Don't actually have any power cells, but cool. Alrighty, so in order to make, make the uh, thing computer chip, I made an extra computer chip actually, so we can make use of that. You won't be wasted. Copper wire. Don't need that. I need just lead and a diamond. So copper wire. Got the diamond. Titanium and lead. Beautiful. Okay. Where do I want to put this? Uh, let's go just put it in the moon pool. Uh, you know what? I guess we're going to spend time working in this workroom. Let's just put it in here. Um, I could put it right here. I think that feels like it's really cluttered in there. So let's not do that. Let's go right here. Okay, now let's see if I can actually make this air tank upgrade. Four times lithium. That's right. I needed a bunch of lithium. Did I get enough lithium? Whoops, that was up. How are you doing? Do you need stuff in here? Nope, you're good. Not going to lie, watching this almost makes me feel like setting up modded Minecraft server again. Yeah. <laughs> Similar um, kind of level of progression 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 all right lithium did i did i get i got lithium i don't know if i got enough two yeah i just couldn't find that many endless grind for gear progression is fun it does sound like fun i never got too into the um the modded Minecraft scene, but I watched a lot of it. I watched um, Sevidus and, man, old school. What was the other guy? It started with a C. I, he's still on my follow list, but every time he streams, he has, like, no visitors, uh, no viewers. But he used to be a huge Minecraft streamer. <laughs> I'm really one lithium short. Did I put any in here? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Uh, gold. Lithium, lead. Okay, and I need to unequip this thing, I think. Decent mix of everything. You mostly play expert style mod packs that weave together progression between mods. Cool. All right, how much capacity do we have with the ultra high capacity? Oh, look at it go. 225. Nice. We got depth module and depth module upgrade for Cyclops. It's just about time, actually, for us to get Cyclops and the prawn built. I feel like that might be why we're not getting more radio things, because I need the uh, prawn for that. But I really want to get... Um, you know, I think I'm going to do a little base build in here. I got tons of titanium. So I think I want to build downwards. I want to build downwards and see what we can do with uh, building our base down in the uh, down to the depths of the dungeon. 
deeps. Um, FTP infinite evolve infinity evolves expert mode to steal your all-time favorite data progression and gating extremely well. And had a good mix of tech and magic. Cool. You want to see a dual grapple spider ran suit? That does sound pretty awesome. Uh, uh, maybe I'll do a little building and then we'll build the prawn and we'll uh, we'll we'll probably build cyclops and prawn. Okay. Um, what do I not need for what we're about to do? I don't need the repulsion cannon. And I don't need the laser cutter. So let's put those away. I have to remember that I have those in there. But uh, let's do that. Just because right now we're going to do... Get a bunch of titanium. And we're building straight downward, folks. Down into the dank, dark depths. Okay. And so that's all my titanium right now, isn't it? That's as deep as I can go right now. Uh, let's get this salt out of here. Uh, we, we progressed really fast and had to quit after two days because of the insane amount of shit being spat out of several quarries and going to recyclers. Recyclers. You're pretty proud of a storage system I wrote with Computercraft that you could request items from using a terminal. <laughs> All right, can I make a ladder here now? No, I think I have to make another room there before it let me build the ladder. So, time to go straight down. Time to see how deep the rabbit hole goes. I've never built a base like this, so... This will be interesting. I also need to keep a, an eye on my base hole strength so I don't have it die. But there's only minus 0.5 every one we add, so this isn't too bad. Okay. Also keep an eye on my oxygen. Hey, what's up? Uh, Level Genius, how are you doing? Can I ask a question about the moon pool and, and vehicles? Absolutely. Ask away. Is one of your questions, can you jump out with uh, with this guy? And the answer is, hell yeah. Well, it's lagged as hit like hell, but yes. And it's awesome. <laughs> My power is going down, actually. Oh, it's probably because it's nighttime. Let me just make sure... I don't want power to go negative here. Looks like it's doing okay, but let me get a couple bulbo trees here. Oh, I have no room, do I? No, I have room. Let's get three. We'll eat whatever we don't recycle. Just like real life. Eat what you don't recycle. Can you dock the suit and the moth in one at the same time? No. Um... You can only dock one or the other. Uh, same goes for the Cyclops, at least as far as I know. The last time I played the game, that was true. I haven't tried. I haven't built the prawn yet this run, so I don't know exactly. But uh, I'm pretty sure the little arm that grabs you can only grab one vehicle. You're also planning to hook it up to a set of pipes to be able to request items from several places and remove them correctly. Hmm. I'm doing great, little genius. Enjoying, I always enjoy playing Subnautica. Such a great game. One of my all-time favorites. Probably my all-time favorite survival game. I think you need two, uh, two moon pools or what? Yeah, you need two pools if you want to dock two vehicles. I wasn't planning on making a second moon pool. Well, I mean, a third one, because I've already got one for my other base. All right, how much titanium do I have? I can go a couple more here. Problem with computer craft is that once you start playing around with it, there's no time to play the actual game left over. <laughs> Spend more time in notepad than in game. <laughs> you know a game is good when 
You spend more game, more time out of game than in game. I think Path of Exile could uh, could be another game that's kind of like that. All right, I better get some whole whole plating going, which is again I think needs lithium. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot of titanium for this. A lot of titanium and is it no? It's lead. Lead I actually did get so. Let's make some whole plate. Oh, that's not my entrance. My entrance is up here. Should have some lead in here. Yep. Okay. Alright, because what we don't want to have happen is we overbuild and then all of a sudden we get leaks in our thing and things go all to hell. Damn it, it's lithium, not lead. Lead is for foundation. Damn it. I need so much lithium. Because I'm pretty sure I need a ton of plasteel if I want to make cyclops and prawn, too. So It's not lead, it's lithium. I have two lithium. I want to download it, but not entirely should. You sure you should. What? Download this game? Level Genius, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Um, well, you need to buy it. <laughs> but I would highly recommend buying if you like survival games. Like I said, it's one of the best survival games I've ever played. So that is all of my titanium for now. So, okay. So if I want to do more building, I need titanium. So I need to go get a ton of titanium. Is there any place I can get titanium and lithium? I need to find those C, the walker place. What is that place called? I keep talking about. The, uh, the fields. Fields where you, those guys are stomping around. What is that place called? What is this Path of Exile you speak of? A game? Never heard of it. You're, you play Path of Building. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, I'm going to have those for water. Beautiful. Then we get the seeds and replant. I'm going to get it. Are you going to play D Division 2? Am I going to play Division 2? Probably not. I thought Division 1 was meh. And um, I'm not huge on shooter games anyway. I have a friend who's probably going to play it, who's been playing the beta. What's this guy at? 85. That's not too bad. You're at 69. Oh, I have these extra batteries in here. Laser cutter needs to be re uh, recharged. Laser cutter... You're not too bad, but I got a full battery. Might as well do that. We put these all in here. One, two, three. Need one more battery for that. I was really close by from the walkers. Uh, hey, what's up, Wolf? Wolfenite? However you say your name. <laughs> At the wreckage before the warper incident. Okay. Okay. Let's head over there. I want to see if I can get some... Uh, I feel like that's one of the better places for just getting minerals since they just basically create them. How are we doing on power and health? Really well. Okay, so I just need to get back to... Was that wreck 13 I was near? It was, it was past the blood oil entrance. So we'll head this way. Because if I want to make the cyclops and the um, prawn anyway, I'll have to go get a bunch of that stuff, so... I just need tons of titanium and the other thing, lithium. It's Wolfany. You have rage. Quit Subnautica. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Uh, I will say 
I will probably get to the point where I do the same. When I die, since I'm playing hardcore. But it's such a good game, even if I rage quit, I will probably... Um, go back and try creative mode to build stuff. You played high hardcore, and that's why you rage quit? I can understand that. Alright, so there's a blood oil entrance. You said it was over by... That other place, that's where we saw the Reaper, too. It's over by, so it's, it's really deep, I know that. Oh, here's the blood oil wreck. Do I want to check this wreck out? I feel like I might as well. Reaper is friend, yeah. Yeah, and everybody keeps telling me to scan the Reaper. I'm sure it'll be fine. Is this the uh, fusion? Whoops. Nuclear reactor fragment. Nice. That completes our nuclear reactor, I believe. Cool. Oh, ghost mushrooms. Or deep shrooms. Yes. I am going to need some of these for some stuff. And I have, I have a feeling I can get seeds out. They hurt, but it worked. We'll grab four and have seeds to plant. Uh-oh, I hear a teleporter dude. A warper. Yep, I see a warper. I want to put these in different places. The deep shrooms, highly acidic. And put the seeds in the other side so I don't mix them up. Okay. Cool. Finding more materials. Already got the blood oil. So I'm good on that. You know, I might be able to find lithium in this area, too. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's an entrance at the top here somewhere. But I could be wrong. You know what? I think it's actually at the bottom. Or maybe there's one at the top and the bottom. Right, let's go to the bottom. Uh, 300 meters deep. Is that where the... Um are you saying in Fest Angel that's where the uh, walker area is? I thought it was deeper than that, actually. Okay. Here we go. You know, I think every time I've explored here, I've had my Cyclops. So this, I feel like Seamoth is actually making it easier for me to explore. Here we go. Yeah, okay. You died because of a bug? Oh, well, that's rage quit inducing for sure. Cyclops Sonar upgrade. Oh, that's great. That's cool. Prawn suit grappling arm. All right, so it's just... I said I wanted titanium, so... Scanning all these things will get me titanium. I'll also clear out so it won't show me that there's things to scan everywhere. What was the bug? Um, that caused you to, uh, lose it. Okay, let me make sure I know which way I'm going out every time. It's down this way, so. Uh, which way? Right here. Okay. Just practice getting out. I have much more oxygen now, so it's not as scary. But it's always scary when you're exploring a big wreck. Uh, it's so easy to get lost. Okay. Alright, so there's my exit. Here's a tunnel. And that's another tunnel. Wow. Yeah, that'll be really easy. I need to go in there and go down. Okay, we got a uh, laser cutter place to have on my bar. Where are you? There you are. All right, I think I'll let my oxygen get down to half. With how much half is, that should give us plenty of time. Okay, just so we remember, our way to go is right there and then down. 
right? That should be right. Okay. This is definitely one you can get confused about where you're going. Okay, that's my exit. Is this, this is just an outside area, but that you can't actually get out. Okay. And another tunnel. Okay, before we go in the tunnel, let's go get oxygen. Uh, where's my thing here? Ow. Did you try to teleport me, I think? All right, I believe it's down. It should be this way. Play it safe. You know, we got this extra oxygen. Yep, this is right. And down. The issue with... The reason it's so easy to get turned around in this in this game is because when you're underwater, you don't know which way is up. You turn yourself around, you don't know which way is up. It could be so scary. <laughs> you sure use that pink thing on your light a lot? I don't mean to. I right-click and turn my light on and off, and they added that... that they added that positional thing and I don't like it but I also don't know if there's a way to turn it off all right here we go so it is uh, here all right tunnel guy go here and we go out go through the cut and then there was another tunnel right here was just this the same tunnel that we just exited? Just a different entrance, maybe? I don't know. It might be. Yeah, okay, so that was just another entrance to that same tunnel. Okay, so I want to check another direction, so let me go here. I may still have missed something, but let me get my oxygen while I'm here. Again, we're playing hardcore, just like you do different builds on Path of Exile when you're play on hardcore. I gotta make, play it safe when I'm playing hardcore here. Uh, well, it doesn't look like I can get through there. Okay, so that might have been all all to explore in this. Side. Oh, wait, here. Here we go. Oh. Need to right-click three times to toggle the light alone. Okay. Well, I lose count. <laughs> I lose track. Okay, anything else back here? Looks cleared out. Again, as long as we're above half O2, we're feeling fine. Uh, same area or is it a different area? Oh, that's an exit right there. Okay. Open, there's a PDA, nice. Okay. Uh, where's this exit? Let's actually bring our Seamoth to this exit. So this is on the... This is on the top of the thing, I believe. Top side thingy-majig. Hold on a sec. I'm going to scan this. Is this a scannable thing? Nope. Are you a thing I can get? Nope. Okay. This is the hardest wreck for me. Oh, wait, it's a different one, maybe. Um, the hardest wreck for me, as always, I think it's 17. The one that's not that deep, but there's so many twisty little turns. God, I hate it. I did it earlier this stream, and every time I do it, I'm so afraid of dying. You'd get too stressed playing this on hardcore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm playing it very slow and safe. I think I was already in this room. Yep, I was already in that room. Uh, have I been in here? This looks like just a dead end area, maybe. Yeah. I'm being very methodical. Slow and steady wins the, wins the race, after all. And I think this is where I came from before with this tunnel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, a door. Uh, can I open this door? I think this might be a fake door. Even though it's got a green light. Pretty sure I can't get through their door. Okay. 
I play hardcore. This is the first time I played hardcore. Okay, where's my exit? Right out here. Okay, where's that teleporter dude? He's scaring the hell out of me. Where are you, teleporter dude? Stop making those noises. I see ya. Does that actually do any damage? I don't know if that actually does any damage or not. Okay. I think I think I've got everything from here. Everything I'm picking up is just becoming titanium. And I got a lot of titanium. Oh, Jesus. He didn't like my me picking a fight with him. He teleported me out of there. Jeez. Holy crap, freaking. Oh, those warpers. Okay, throw a bunch of this in here. All right, it's a good chunk of t uh, titanium. Now I need lithium. How's the stream going? Really well, Pie Boy. How are you doing, sir? Uh, my fellow divers, my name is Pug. Here at your service. Hey, good to see you again, Pug Food Gaming. You got to go now? All right, we'll see you later, level genius. Okay, so I want to find the walker area, and I, I actually want to... You know what? Maybe before I go there, I might want to get a beacon so I can mark it so I can find it again. So I'm not far from, not too far from my rendezvous point. Let me go make a marker real quick. Or a, uh, whatchamacallit, beacon. So I can go find the uh, walker area. But yeah, it's going great, Pipe. I always enjoy uh Subnautica, we have a good good crew here today. Your good got to drive home from work. Thought you would drop by and quick. Well, nice. Oh, you're about to leave work. Okay. So I feel like somewhere around here, I probably just need to um, go go in the depths for a while to find the uh, find the Walker area. Where does this go? Probably nowhere. Yeah, I think I've been down here before. Nothing special here. If you want to head there, you must go southwest of the Blood Kelp Trench. Okay, cool. Thank you. Just a tip. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go um, put some of this stuff away. I got a bunch of titanium. Clear out my inventory so I can get even more titanium. But mainly I want lithium. So I need to... Um, I want to go to the walker area so I can... Farm the basalt things. They... Uh, they uh, kick up. We allowed to backseat? You've had too many problems there. Um... I don't mind as long as you're not giving being too insistent about it. Like, especially if I ask for help, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with you telling me stuff. Um, I think I need another locker here. Let's get another locker for some materials. Like, why aren't you doing what I tell you to do? That that stuff gets on my nerves. But if it's people like just being helpful, like, hmm, I wonder where this is, and can I find this? And somebody's like, well, if it's here. I'm usually I'm okay with people helping me out like that. There we go. So we can throw some titanium in there. Okay. Okay, throw the salt in there. We got extra water. Um, let's not use up my water now since we can just eat melons and stuff for water. Uh, have you grown? Oh, that was fast. Mmm, 
love me some marble melons. Thank you for the follow. Uh, cosplay flower. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Why is my power going down so much? I feel like I might need to create a couple more um, solar panels, maybe. Is it nighttime again? That's why. I feel like I might be draining more power than I am providing. I think I should make some a uh, couple extra solar panels. We'll do that too. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna get stuff from the uh, this guy. Uh, this is where X is, or I would do Y if our was quite different. Then you should do Z. Very true. My 15 runs of the game never thought of putting lockers like that sideways. <laughs> One of the first things I decided to do because. A lot of my uh, a lot of my bases, I ran out of space really fast. So glad you like it. Glad you like it. Or I can fix your Windows 10. <laughs> hey, have you noticed? It's not here anymore. That's thanks to McDonald in the chat here. Help me out with that. And it wasn't a download, so I accepted the help. All right, so I'm gonna put your full. Put titanium in here. Maybe is the sorting of it hurt you? Well, I know some people don't like the way that looks, but to me it's fine. I think I probably saw another streamer do that. That's why I did it. I don't know that I could take credit for that. How do you get the jelly shroom sample? Jelly shroom sample. Are you talking about these deep shrooms that I just got? Or something else? I don't know what you're asking about. All right, I love I love these under I love these gardens, these undersea gardens because it's all the different glowy things all together look awesome. Okay, so I wanted to do something. I wanted to put more solar panels. Two quartz, two titanium, and a copper. All right, I should be able to make a few of those. So if I can make two more, I feel decent about that. So two copper. Uh, I can only make one more because I don't have copper. So that's another thing I should grab. Um, so copper, lithium, and um, titanium. Copper, lithium, and titanium. Let's get an angle I like here. Yeah, that's pretty good. The big pink thing like a jellyfish. Go to the cave near the first Degasi habitat filled with them. Oh, oh, you're talking about um, this mushroom right here. Oh, the jelly shroom? Yeah, yeah, you just have to go in there and you um, take your knife and you swipe at it. You get a seed from it, I think. Or uh, I don't think it's called a seed. I think it's called a something. I forget. Yeah, and I got the eggs for it, too. I, that's one thing I'll need to do is make the alien containment habitats. But my plan is, actually, I'm making this big tunnel down from here. And I want to go to as deep as I can go. Giggity, that's what she said. And I want to build towers towers of the um, uh, alien containment from there. That's my plan, anyway. Oh, I have one more copper. Oh, I thought it took two for each one. Okay. So I can make I can make one more. Great. That was what my other base was, and I loved the look of it. It was towers filled with the creep vines um, to make it all glowy, and the jelly shroom, the jelly dudes, and a bunch of other, all the other pretty animals. Here we go. So hopefully power-wise, we'll be fine now with this extra solar power. You just try. You'll try again, though. You have an idea in the forest for an armory. Oh, okay. An armory in the forest, huh? How's my power? Power is now positive. Cool. Huh? 
Well, you'll probably have to do that in your own game, Pex Tychus, because we finished our, uh, we did the finale of our uh, forest thing. All right, so you're still good. So we'll just eat these. All right, so let's go, what did you say it was north somewhere, northwest or northeast from the um, blood oil? So I think we're good to go. And I have all my gear. I've got the repulsion cannon. All right, should be good to go. All right, so titanium, copper. Diamonds are always good, too. All systems online. Okay, so blood oil entrance. Let's head there. Yeah, sorry, Bex Tychus. We, uh, we, I think we played Force twice that week. But uh, we kind of did a big finale where we went crazy and did some crazy stuff. It was a lot of fun. You can watch if you like, but uh, probably not going to be playing Forced again, at least not like regularly. We might do one like bonus one because uh, Man Who Stands has a uh, glider course thing. Now, let me look up which direction you said, Pug. Uh, southwest of the Blood Cult Trench. Southwest. Okay. So, that's the Blood Kelp Trench right there. So, southwest. The question is, do I stay at 200 meters or do I go to 300? I think I'm supposed to go down deeper, right? Actually, I might have to go uh, another direction to get there. You had fun playing? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And if I want to go super deep to the next area, that would be going down this way, I think. Oh, God, warpers. Let me see if there's any materials I can grab while I'm down here. Oh, is this... Wow, this music. It's got really creepy really fast. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa, I don't think I ever heard this track. It's creepy as hell. It's cool, though. Cave's Feather, another cool plant to collect. Hope you're a small seed. Guess you're probably not. Nope. Alright, so southwest... Yeah, I think I think I might not be going the right way. I'll do a little exploring down here. We got the. Uh, we can well, we can check for lithium while we're down here. I don't think I don't think lithium. I think you have to mine for lithium down here. Yeah, I could go even deeper, but I don't think I want to go deeper from here because I think from here is where you start getting into the crazy. Um, like the lava place and that underground tree and all that kind of stuff. I'm not quite ready for that. Damn it. Bumped into myself. I'm definitely not ready to go into that area next. I would like to have my Cyclops and my Prawn before I do that. There we go. This looks promising. Have I scanned you yet? Cave bush? Yes, I have. Can't wait till they add quarries to Subnautica. <laughs> are they going to? Are you? Yeah, here we go. Are you talking about for mods? Okay. Did I already get cave bush? I'm not sure. Let's get seeds for it. Um, I think I already got one of. Did I already get one of these? I think I did. Pretty sure I did. Oh, I see you. I see a walker over there. You know what I didn't do? I didn't make a... Um, I didn't make a beacon like I planned to. Oh, well. Alright, here we go. 
scan these lovely, lovely dudes. Sea Treaders. Collecting materials by hand is so alpha 1.2.10. <laughs> the island was barely visible when I found them about 300 meters deep. Which island are you talking about? You're talking about the, uh, I'm not sure which island. Maybe you're talking about the, uh, Gun Island, maybe? I think there's also a wreck down here somewhere. But let's first things first. Let's get a bunch of the materials I want. Yeah, basalt. Gold, not what I want. Diamonds, okay. Lithium, that's what I want. Oh, are you pressing me down? Okay, you can get stepped on by these guys, can't you? <laughs> I think you can get stepped on by these guys. Wow, diamond farming right now. Lithium, that's what I want. Copper, beautiful. This is where you go if you want to farm these things right here. This is where you go, baby. Lithium, love it. Gold, I don't really care about that much. On occasions, can you play the forest? Um, Bextychus, uh, I will play what I want when I want. So I'm not planning on it anytime soon. <laughs> so no. You asking me to play games often makes me not want to play those games. Just so you know. Oh, and he poops. Alien feces. I forgot about that. That was new back when I played. I think they added that. I think that's... I think the only thing that's good for is... Bioenergy production. Yeah, the uh, bioreactor thing. Alright, I might, I might actually drop some of this gold. It's a good amount of lithium. You know, I'm, I'm gonna drop... I don't need gold so much. Drop, drop. What's this guy? Oh, it's a diamond. All right, I'll take I'll take extra diamonds. Gold, I feel like is not as needed. F in a sad way. Never, you never knew to farm there. Uh, where did that? Do they like despawn? I don't know where they go. I don't think they despawn. I, there's probably just a big like circle they make of this area. Lithium, yes. Gold, I should just not pick up since I threw it away. Diamond, okay. Gold, no. Well, I'm glad I can teach you guys something. So these things walk around, uh, are making resources appear. Yeah, there's, if you read about them, there's, you know, a video game reason. It's something like they're kicking up nutrients, but they also kick up minerals or something. I'll probably read about it in a sec, just just to see why it happens, but yep. This is if you if you need a lot of diamonds and lithium, it's a pretty good place to come. Copper Um They they mainly do the high level stuff though, the shale. So this isn't a great place to come to get copper, but like diamonds and lithium, this is Possibly the best place to come. How much does it hurt if one steps on you? Could you test it for us? <laughs> um, how about hell no? Now let's see if you're making any of the other ones. Mainly doing the shale ones. How much lithium do we have? That's a lot of diamonds and lithium. Okay. Okay, we'll call that good for now. So southwest of the blood hole. I, I need to mark this place. I wish I had made the uh, beacon. All right. Let's see here. But I can kind of measure the distance here. So 1165 meters northwest. 1165 northwest of our home. I'm going to write that down, and I can bring a beacon later. 
1165 northwest of home. Cool. Uh, here, and let's see why that happens. Let's look at the data bank. Uh, fauna, leviathans, sea trader leviathan. Roams the reefs, grazing the seafloor. Uh, antenna on the creature's head can detect a range of scents, helping the sea traders to find fresh grazing pastures. Avoids the, avoid the path of large predators and sense chemical signals from others of their kind. Thick armor protects the creature from attack by all but the largest of carnivores. Two legs extend from the rear. I wonder if a reaper could actually kill that thing. Used to siphon up plant material from seafloor and maintain balance. Large herds would decimate the floor of a single area, thus encouraging sea traders' migratory behavior. Families keep their young towards the center of the herd. Parents will lash out at over-curious interlopers in search of an easy meal. Oh, I didn't know that they would even have um, young. Uh, sea trader herds may unearth mineral deposits as they churn up the sand. So basically, yeah, they're exploring the seafloor and it causes them to churn up these materials. So I got lithium for days now. That's great. Oh, and it is kind of underneath something here. Uh, so this is kind of underneath a shelf. Okay. Where's, where am I? There we go. So you kind of fall off a cliff to get there. All right, fall off a cliff from the, this kind of desolate sandy area. At least they aren't aggressive. Oh yeah, if they were aggressive, I wouldn't be doing what I just did. <laughs> I know pretty much everything that's safe to deal with. That is not one of them. Those guys suck. You know what I didn't get is a lot of titanium. Oh, I did get some titanium. I'm exploring the one. Uh, one place, so. Okay. Oh, and so I'll pass right by this thing that I, did I explore this one? Yeah, I think I, did I explore this one? I might not have explored this, explored this one. It's so hard to keep track of stuff you've explored. Actually, I have not. Okay, I need to explore this one, but I have no inventory space. Um, so 567 meters northwest. Okay. So let me head back towards the Sea Trader place, and I'm going to explore that one. That'll give me a bunch of titanium, too, because I'm sure that's, um, I'm sure that's, uh, materials I already have, uh, blueprints I already have. So apparently the moon pool's pool is made of moonlight because I can always see it from so far away. <laughs> the moon pool's pool is made of pool light. Moon pool, pool, pool. All right, I'm going to extend this shaft. Giggity, it's going to be awesome. All right, but I got a ton of lithium, so that lets me... Was there anything... Oh, yeah, I wanted... I need that for... Um, Making more um, the whole plating stuff. So let me put all these diamonds away. We have way more diamonds than we'll need for a long time. Um, let's separate. So this be like precious things like diamonds, gold, silver. Rubies. We'll get rid of quartz and lead and salt and stuff. Lithium, magnetite, not as precious. So this is like precious materials. Just to give some sort of separation here. Okay. Throw quartz, lead, salt, and stuff in here. Lithium's good. Take the rubies out. All right, we got some lithium for days here. And now let's take out like four of them. Some titanium, and we're going to make some... Uh, put the magnetite here. Make some of those uh, hole plating things. Beautiful. All right. Water should not be an issue for us anymore. Even though I keep throwing it in here. 
just kind of have it storing up for us for long expeditions that we need it for. One, two, three. Okay, uh, and I did get some new plants too. I can, um, I can plant. Let me grab those from you. Alien feces. Eh, sure, we'll grab you. Go put that up in the bioreactor. Bioreactor. Uh, okay, one, two, three. There we go. Okay. Let's go plant these guys. All right, I might need another planter, actually. All right, we got ghost shrooms. Ah, we got... It's like a salad bar of things to choose from. All right, do I have cave bush? Violet blue. Pygmy bulb bush. I don't have cave bush. Okay. I don't have the membrane tree seed either. Cool, so let's do another one here. Exterior grow bed. Beautiful. Were you full? Did I fill you up? You're full, and you should be full. You're full, okay. And we got Gabe's Feather and Spiked Horn Grass Seed. A salad bar of beautiful things. Okay. Can I do any hole plating, or did I use it my titanium? And we got the nuclear reactor unlocked. We got the coffee vending machine unlocked. And the vending vending machine. We should see if we can get cookies and leave a time capsule. All right, just put these everywhere I can place them. So that we can continue building downwards. Beautiful. And I need titanium now. Okay. Which I have a little bit extra in here. Woo! Three whole titanium. All right, let's go. Gaben's feather. That's right. <laughs> Gaben's feather. All right, that's empty. Good. Climb up, climb up. Let's hope you have space. Perfect. Alien feces. Suitable for bioenergy production. I wonder how long that one will last. All right, give me some more uh, titanium. I need more room in here for stuff. One more diamond. Okay. Copper ore. We'll put that in here. We'll probably need even another, another uh, chest at some point. Okay. Run out of spaces to put these. Uh, I think I can put them up on the top if need be. But actually, I might. Yeah, here we go. I can put one or two here, I believe. There we go. Lovely. And we'll go one more. And then we'll use up our titanium building downwards now that we got reinforcement. Who needs a who needs a ladder? Not not this guy. Okay, so grab the rest of my titanium. Because we'll grab we'll grab some more on our uh, next excursion here. Next excursion will probably be the last excursion for now. Next time we play will probably be when we start getting into the Cyclops and the prawn building. You can build bull cut doors for whole whole integrity. Oh really? What are those uh, what do those cost? Where are they? Is it here and I just missed it? Uh, 
Here it is. So it costs the same amount of titanium, but it's silicon rubber. Is that right? Oh, okay. Well, that's a little annoying because I have to reopen the doors, but they also protect you if you, the whole integrity of it gets, uh, gets wrecked. So, you know what? Let's build one of those. <laughs> I'd rather have more whole integrity than less. Uh, we'll go right there. We have to open them, which is slightly annoying. Um, but I think they usually stay open. Unless you go far away, they might automatically close eventually. But we'll have that for extra reinforcement. Did that did that give me extra reinforcement? I didn't actually read if it gave me more reinforcement. Uh, whoops. That is the only problem with having these in the same place. Clicking the wrong one. You can build bore cut doors for whole integrity. You can leave the doors open, still add same integrity. Open. Okay. I'm browsing randomly and passing by streams just to gently ask, how are you today? Well, hello, answer spirits. I'm doing great. How are you? I, I appreciate your curiosity. I'm doing lovely. Lovely this fine Tuesday afternoon. How are you doing, my friend? I don't know why I'm speaking in this strange wannabe British accent. How many of these am I going to be able to make? Uh, a couple more. Do they add the same amount of integrity as the reinforcement? I guess would be my main question, Ferrari. Do you know? I should have looked, but I wasn't thinking about it. Ooh, we're building down into the uh, blue ball area, which is an area I haven't explored yet. Okay, that looks like my last bit there, huh? Can I actually go up this? Can I swim up this? No. <laughs> Be a bad idea anyway, because I get like stuck in there since I haven't built a ladder there, because I can't. But still. Okay. Lovely. Glad to hear, and I'm doing just fine myself. Hope everyone's doing wonderfully as well. <laughs> You're just a ball of energy and positivity. Aren't you answer sprites? It's great. All right. Um, all righty. Let's go explore. Uh, so it was northwest I wanted to go. Got a good amount of lithium. Still not as much as I'd like. I'd always like to have more, but good amount. Um, we'll have some Chinese potatoes. We'll replant them. There. Not nearly as much water as I would like. Um, do I have a less water thing? Yes. A less water thing. Great. All right, let's uh, swap out some batteries and we'll be good to go. You're at 89, so you're fine. You're at 47, we'll swap out you. You use that power fast, we'll definitely swap out you. Okay. Still need one more battery here, but all right, good for now. And let's go uh, check out that wreck that's at the. Oh, went the wrong one again. The wreck that's just in that sandy area. Uh, the bulkhead doors add three. I think I think the uh, reinforcement whole reinforcement things add more than that. So the bulkhead door probably not as. Good, but oh well. Blue balls, Papa Smurf approves. Wait, I'm just calling it what it is. Let's call it like I see it, man. <laughs> All right, I think it was kind of west northwest, maybe. Woo for positive energy. Yay! It's always good to hear some feedback, especially when they are such kind words. <laughs> Wall adds seven. So this, the walls are better, but they take lithium. So since I since silicon is basically a Thing I make for free. It's kind of the trade-off, I guess. Here we go. Been having a blast hatching my creature eggs. Still haven't got anything good yet, though. Yeah, that's another thing I need to do for next time. Is uh, get my alien habitats going. So I got some good projects for next time. 
Which is always fun about this game. There's always cool stuff you can work towards. Lead. I will take lead. Take lithium. Are they bipolar? <laughs> oh, that's a pun, isn't it? Nah, I'm good. Hate to leave so soon, but you still have a lot of ton of streams to pass by. Have fun exploring this alien ocean. Have a nice day, night, everyone. Bye. All right, answer. The you are the um, Santa Claus of streams of Twitch. Enjoy your rounds. <laughs> have a good time. Silver ore. That's useful. Ooh. Okay. All right. There we go. And there's. Something I already have, possibly? No! Cyclops decoy tube. Alright, that's useful for the deep sea areas where you have sea dragons and stuff chasing you. Decoys are good for those. I always forget to use the decoys, but they're very effective against the big leviathans that chase you down. Alright, nothing good here. Let me just make a... Make a lap around. Make sure there's nothing more else on the ground I'm missing. Nothing more else. Free titanium. I'll take it. Alright, so now we just need to find our entrance here. There's one. Okay. Okay. Um, that, was, that is not an entrance. And have such a good time exploring Subnautica again. Even though it's a little scarier playing on... Playing on hardcore. Still good time. Something to scan. What was that? Oh, uh... Cyclops hole fragment, okay. What do we got here? Cyclops docking bay repair module. Cool. Alright, so down is my exit. That's a door I can't open. It's going straight up here. I got a door I can open there. I got that thing. Nothing else to scan in here. Okay. Uh, where's my door? Here's my door. Having a hard time with that door, aren't you? Need to do some weight lifting. Okay, anything in here? Oh, yep. Propulsion arm fragment. I'm pretty sure I have all the arms and pieces of the Cyclops and stuff now. Okay, we still got a little bit of time. But we got a tunnel to go through, I believe. Oh, or is this... Is this the end of the line? Uh, really, is this all that's here? I'm, like, surprised when it's not a scary little tunnel. I gotta go through the side now. Well, let's check uh, if there's any other side areas I missed. Or there might be another entrance I gotta go through. That's a sign thing that I think I already have. Okay, can't do the. Okay, so that looks like all that's here. Okay, so there might be another entrance I can explore, though. Um, there you are. Okay. Let's see if there's another entrance. Maybe at the top of the other side or something. Okay, can't get in there. Anything up here? Mm, doesn't look like it. Ah, here we go. There's an entrance. Is this an entrance? What is this? No. Looks like an entrance, but is not an entrance. Okay. Okay, where is that entrance? Right over here. Alrighty, what do we got in here? 
What lovely gifts do you have for us, game? Uh, a ladder to go down. Okay, let me let me fully explore this room first. Uh, okay, we got a laser cutter place to go. Oh, we got a PDA. Wow, it gave me nothing. Did I already get that PDA? The duplicate PDA? Weird. Okay, where's my exit? My exit's that way. So let's cut this guy open. I need to store some titanium. Excuse me. All right. Okay. Ooh, what do we got here? Nothing. <laughs> Another thing we already have. And my inventory's full. Okay. Let's go uh, Let's go clear out our inventory before we go further, since we're getting tons of titanium, which is great. It's great to get all this titanium. That PDA also gave you nothing? It's probably just a duplicate. I think they purposefully had multiple wrecks have some duplicate things. So in case you miss it in one area, you still find it in another. Could be wrong, but it would make sense that if you don't explore everything, you can still get what you need to progress, you know. So it's probably another Cyclops thing that you already got or something like that. Or another... Uh, prawn arm or something. Okay. I like how it says prawn suit fragment and it's like a just an entire prawn suit. It's like, holy crap. If this is a fragment, what's not a fragment? Okay. Can't go through that door. Uh, is there anything in here? Nothing in here. Oh, we got some lockers. Anything in these lockers? Got it. So hard to be oriented, orientated correctly. Orientate me. Okay, I think that's all in this room. Just make sure. Can't get through that door. No holes in the walls. Okay. Now, where's my exit? Uh, okay, so this was this was through the hole. Okay, so that should be everything in this area. Let's go get our breath, and then we'll check through that um, ladder entrance. Okay, so ladder entrance was down here. Can I get through here? I can. All right, there's our scary tunnel access. All right, so there's the ladder. Make sure there's nothing up here. Nothing up there. And, well, is this... Okay, this is a short tunnel to outside. Okay. All right, looks like... I think that might be everything from this place. I think that might just be it. So we got a ton of titanium, which is great. A ton of titanium is just terrific. Okay. All right. Um, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go someplace where I can get a bunch of fragments of titanium again real quick. I just build one more length of pipe going down, and then we'll call it a day. So let's try to find some scrap lying around somewhere. That I can pick up. So if I head this way, I should be able to find some scrap on the ground, I think. Or things I can scan will work too. Hmm. 
like wandering aimlessly looking for scrap. Okay, there's probably some stuff here I can scan for pieces, maybe. Uh, I think this is a wreck I've been to. But often the things that you can... Uh, the blueprints stuff respawn, I think. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I'm seeing things I can scan here. Well, okay. No titanium for me. Um, let's see. Let's head towards chair house. We'll, the shallows will definitely have more stuff for us to, uh, to grab real quick. We're not too far from our initial, uh, initial crash site. <laughs> Sorry, fish. Is that an egg? What is that? Whoa, that looks like an egg I don't think I've seen before. Oh, I think that might be the shark egg. Not that great, but I don't have one yet. Okay, well, I'm pretty much full on inventory, so it's not going to take me long. Only a couple things I'll be able to pick up anyway. Right, if I can just find a couple pieces of scrap. Do I need quartz? You know what? I am going to be using lots of glass at some point, so getting quartz would be a good idea. Mainly I want titanium, though, so where's my titanium? Here we go. There's always a bunch in here. Here we go. All right, get uh, one or two more pieces of scrap, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, no more, so quartz or just whatever I can pick up, uh, or I can drop something. Uh, all right, one, one quartz will drop for this. All right, we are maxed out. Let's go. Let's go build a shaft. Shaft. Damn right. Okay, where is that? Aurora rendezvous point. And I should I should make a beacon. Before I use up all my stuff, I should make one beacon so I have one on my on my person. On my body. So I can uh, always have one available. To place when I find stuff like uh, the uh, seed treader area for farming diamonds and lithium when I need them. All right, this has been a very productive stream, though. We've got a lot of good stuff done. Start of our base going. It's so dark over here. I guess it's. The sun is setting. Still, they like to increase the scary factor by having the visibility below, I feel like. What a beautiful tropical island that is. <laughs> I wonder how how many pieces of uh, titanium it's going to take to get all the way down there. Jeez. Um, let me actually see here. 
Okay. Go up first with the stuff I have on, on me because I need to break it down at the uh, crafting station, whatever the hell it's called. Fabricator. Okay. I'm showing I can build new stuff. What is it? Hydrochloric acid. All right, we can make that for a reactor rod, which is for uh, the nuclear reactor, and we got the creature decoy. Okay, cool. New stuff, man. New freaking stuff. Okay, so what do we got on us? Uh, this creature egg. Put that in there. Got a couple eggs in there. Don't I have another place with a bunch of eggs? Uh, most of my eggs are back at my other, uh, other location, so that's fine. Okay, there we go. Did I get any other plants while I was down there? Not sure. All right, let's take you down. Let's also repair you, though. I wish you would automatic repair when you dock it. Like, it automatically charges. All systems online. All right. Let's get this shaft going. Damn right. We can dig it. Just talking about shift. And I'm not going to make a room to a ladder until we get to the very bottom is the plan. So I don't have to, like, make pit stops. Go up, up and down multiple ladders. Just have one ladder that goes all the way down hundreds of meters. One giant shaft. And, and what I have to hope is that I don't run into one of these balls, but I feel like our placement actually is looking pretty good right now. And I can I can have like one turn if I need to adjust adjust where it goes. What I do like is that I got open ocean here, so I don't have to worry about... I don't know if, like, reapers or... Um, like, warpers would attack your base. I don't actually know if they would. So, but us being in this kind of empty area, I feel like it's good to not have to deal with that. All the titanium. Lovely. Give it all to me. What's funny is I'm building down into a biome I haven't even explored yet. I haven't even explored the blue ball biome, whatever it's called. Great Plains or something. I can never remember the names of the biomes. Oh, this is awesome, man. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to get pretty freaking deep with this. Pretty freaking deep, man. The deeps. Not being unlucky, like, um, oh, who was it that was building, who built this similar thing? Juicy, Juicy Man, Juicy something, I think, was the one who built something similar to this. Why so long a tube? Because the plan is I want to have, oh, that might actually eh, be right next to it. I want to have a base at the very bottom of the ocean, or at least as deep as I can get in this area. But 
when you use a ladder, there's no climbing animation. So if I just have one long tube going from the top to the bottom, I basically go up hundreds of meters with one click of a button. That's, that's the reason. Okay, we'll deconstruct that for now since I'm out of titanium. Yeah. So that's the reason for it. Burke Black, he built this. Oh, did he? I know Burke. He, uh, he plays with um, Bike Man. I follow Bike Man. Let's kind of get an idea where this is going to go. I'm hoping it fits right by here. So it looks like there'd be we'd we'd build a base right about down here. How much deeper could we go if we change the placement of it? Ah. There's this shaft here. Okay. So the question is how straight of a shot could we go if we want to go as deep as possible? Because these holes don't really line up perfectly. Giggity, that's what she said. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. There's those squiddy things. I don't know if I want to build right by the squid guys, though. So maybe I'm okay if I, like, am in this area up here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Ferrari. What I might do is use this shaft to get to this level. And then if I want to have my base continue... I have another hallway going to wherever I want to go to the next phase. So we have multiple phases of our base. This uh, surface is phase one. This level will be phase two. And then wherever we want to go from there, it's phase three. And I feel like it'll be pretty awesome. All right, where's my shaft? Oh, we're already getting pretty deep. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I've never done I've never done a base like this before. My main hope is that I don't hit this ledge. I think I miss it. Just kind of testing right now. It's going to be close, but I think I miss it, and I can get down to right in this little alcove, and then from there, we can decide where we want to go. Rand really is trying to hit rock bottom. Oh, my God. What's up, Gunker? Just in time with the pun. All right. Well, we are definitely going to continue this tomorrow. Let me go up top, eat, drink, make sure I'm not dying, and we'll call it there we've been streaming for about a little over six hours now but i'm loving i'm loving where this is going so the plan tomorrow will be to continue the shaft of course uh build the cyclops and the um prawn probably and um get upgrades for that so we can get spider rand going and then um i don't think there's any other i think once i build the Cyclops is when it'll give me more radio things, radio signal things. Just fixing some computer problems that have built up over your time on laptop. Continue the shaft. Well, this base was nothing when I started the day. So all that you see we've done today. We have this, which is our power generation up there. And I, I, I eventually what I want to do is if I can, I want to build up from here and go up to like an observatory and put my bed up there so when i want to sleep i go up to the top and have a wonderful view of the moon or the sun whenever i decide to sleep and then we go down into our workstation here and then i'm going to do my alien containment way down at the bottom of the shaft once we uh once we get just lots of lots and lots more titanium hit the skybox I don't know that you can hit the skybox in this game because going up, you don't have any. Um, actually, let's have one of these. Going up, you don't really have a um, a way to ascend. You can't fly. You can't like jump really high in this game. So, All right, I want the gold here. Okay, salt. Get rid of the salt here. Gold, silver. 
I might want to put bronze in there too. Lead and salt in here. Beautiful. Okay. I like the progress we've made. Let's get, uh, get not dead. Get not dead with food and water. Whoops. I need my knife. Okay. Plant that guy. One, two, three, four. Eat some Bilbo. Get three, and I'm going to see if the um, power station is filled with stuff. Okay. It's full. Beautiful. Consume. Consume. And all right. We are, we are, we are looking good, man. H hardcore. We're not dead. We got an awesome base going. I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it a lot. Go ahead and do this. Continue to let the water build up. Lots of water. So, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, if there's anybody new to the stream, please hit the follow. We'll be playing some more Subnautica tomorrow where we will continue the shaft. We will make the Cyclops. We will make the Prawn, hopefully. That's my plan anyway. Do all that stuff. Uh, Pie Boy's here just in time as we end the stream. Sorry, sir. But, man, I'm, I'm really enjoying playing Subnautica again. I'm glad I waited so long because I played it so much the last time when it was in uh, beta that I kind of got a little burnt out on it, but I'm really enjoying getting into it again. Better call the damn stream, continue the shaft. <laughs> Rand continues the shaft all day, every day. But uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you guys are the reason I do this, as I always say. Thank you for the follows, the bits, the subs, the gifted subs, all the wonderful thing you things you guys do to support. Um, I will be uploading all these videos to YouTube, so if you miss any of them, you can always check out the progress of each of our bases and uh, what we do throughout the stream. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. This game is awesome. We want to play it again now. Oh, it's so much fun. And when I finish this playthrough, then having the uh, next game, the Below Zero to play, is going to be super great too. So anyway, I'm going to head out, work out. I might do a bonus uh, Smite stream tonight with my friends. That's the other reason I want to make sure I don't stay on too late now. In case we do a bonus stream. So, again, you guys are awesome. I hope to see you next time. If I don't, have a great rest of your week. Peace out, my friends. We'll see you later. You guys rock later.